everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're watching me from. Um, my name is Sally Roper and coming to you from Ocherias in Jamaica. And I just wanted to share with you another kiln opening. I have a exhibition or a fair tomorrow. And so this is the last of the things that I'm putting together for it. And I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm just going to uh, to get through this fire. I mean, get through this uh, kiln unloading. So my kiln is right now at 134 degrees Fahrenheit, so it won't hurt the pieces as I take them out. Uh, I do have my gloves on standby because it'll probably get a little bit warmer as I move down the kiln. So anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start this. All right, well, I'm liking what I see. Um, I, well, let me just see how, yeah, the pieces are warm, but I can manage them. So I have, um, I have these mugs and I have four of them. So here's two of them. What I did was I did a full dip in opulence eggshell. And then um, when that glaze was dry, in fact, I did that yesterday. Oh, okay. So today is Saturday, Friday, sorry. When I glazed them on Thursday. Anyway, um, I let the um, eggshell dry and then I took it and I dipped it upside down to about there, I didn't get a whole lot of run, a little bit of a drip here and there, but I didn't get too much run, into um, Opulence Blue Monday. And uh, this is a popular one, I've made this before and, and it sold pretty quickly. So uh, there you go, it's, uh, it's nice, it's a nice mug. It probably holds, I would say maybe 12 ounces of, uh, of liquid. So here we go, here's a, here's a second one. And I have two more. So here are the other two. Again, opulence, um, eggshell, total full dip in op opulence, eggshell, and then dipping the rim in opulence, uh, Blue Monday. Okay, the pieces are a bit warm, so just um, to protect my hands and the pieces so that I don't drop them, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put on my gloves. So I'm kind of happy with these. It's better than I, it's done in the past. So this is um, um, Opulence Ultra White on the inside. And I'm sorry that my lighting is not better that I can, um, I can really show you what this looks like on the inside, but it's, it's a beautiful white. There you go, you have a, get a bit of an idea of what the white is. And the outside, I've dipped it in Jess, Jess, um, Jessica Putnam Phillips, uh, her um, black copper, which is avail available from Clayscapes Pottery. And uh, I have a bit of a metallic sheen. I, you can probably see it over here a little bit. Um, kind of hard to do with the lighting that I have. But uh, these turned out uh, these turned out really well, and I have um, I have a set of four of these. And um, okay, so if you remember in yesterday's video, um, I pulled this out and I had accidentally dropped another piece on it, and it stripped off some of the glaze. So all I did was just get some uh, get some new lavender and just dotted it on the spots that were bald, so to speak, and I refired it. And so, except for that little tiny uh, spot there, it it worked in the other spots. There were three or four spots on there that had uh, that had um, come out really really light. Well, I'm not going to fire it a third time. I'm going to I'm going to try and sell it as it is. But it does go with the other three plates and it's a nesting set. So I'm really happy with that. And that is with, um, that one is with um, Amico Lavender. And it's a Celadon glaze, which of course shows the uh, texture in this piece really, really well. Okay, so here's my cone pack. Um, it, I, I, held the, I held this one for 13 minutes and I have a little bit of a deeper bend of the, of the, um, 
the number five witness cone and the number six has a bit better bend than it did yesterday. So holding it for the extra three minutes, took it a little past cone five, probably uh, not quite five and a half, but I would say a, a full cone five. So this um, is Opulent Smoky Mountain Mist. Again, it's one of these little um, trays that I did where using an MKM roller tool, I made an impression on the, uh, on the inside of the rim. And uh, this is in a pair. So those are uh, two more. Again, I don't sell these for very much, probably about $10 uh, US. And um, I like to have some inexpensive items on my table so that I can, uh, I can sell to all price ranges. Yeah, somebody, somebody in my last video um, asked me how much I sold those for. So uh, if you're watching this one, that's what I sell them for. And these are just some of those um, little trays that I use that go with my, my tall lamps. So they're wax catchers, but um, I sell those lamps in, in two pieces. So those are just, uh, those are in addition to pieces that I made um, a couple of firings, firings ago. Okay. So, I give this just a little bit of a wiggle, make sure none of the posts have stuck. So here are here are the other two of the um, black copper mugs. Uh, again, I'm trying to figure out an easy way to show you the sheen. Um, so I'm I'm really happy with these. They they came out really really nice. Again, ultra white opulence, ultra white, and Clayscapes where you can buy it. It's called black copper. And I know that with the black copper, uh, depending upon the thickness of the application, you get more of the copper um, or more of the black. And I'm still learning uh, about this glaze and figuring it out. But on the B-Mix, it works out really, really beautiful. On the 391 clay that I have used in the past, you know I use that as a dark clay, uh, it doesn't come out very nicely. So that's no fault of the glaze. It's just not a good glaze clay fit. And then I have these um, <clears throat> these bowls that I made. Um, outside is dipped in, um, oh, I think that's ultra white, opulence ultra white. And then I have blue rutile on the inside. I did three, I did two regular coats, one really heavy coat and a fourth uh, fairly light coat. And I got the blue that I'm looking for in blue rutile. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue. I have struggled a little bit with it in the past, just learning the applications. I dip 90, 99% of what I make, I dip, and these are brush on. So I'm just learning how to use them effectively. And somebody had said, no, you need at least four coats of blue rutile, and I believe them. So in the future, I will always do four coats. And I have eight of these. Um, a girlfriend asked me to uh, make them for her and in fact she's helping me tomorrow at the fair so I hope she likes them but they're gorgeous and uh, I made them using a uh, um, using a gauge so that they would all uh, all be the same size and they'll fit very nicely into one another and stack and stack stack really well so I'm really pleased with how those came out Again, the Blue Monday, I just wish I could show you there. That's, that'll show you how pretty it is. I can get a little bit closer. As soon as I turn it, you're gonna lose the light. So I hope you see that. It's, it, it's gorgeous. It's the best result I've ever had with Blue Routile. So uh, um, it's getting a thumbs up from me. Not that my rating counts, but anybody who's watching uh, the video and you know, kind of assessing things as to um, the results that I get, it's a good one. Okay.
All right. Oh, am I ever happy? I just said something really exciting. Okay. So I made these um, dimple tumblers. They are about um, maybe a little over four inches tall, about three and a half inches, three and a half inches wide. The inside is opulence eggshell. The outside is um, Amico Sky. And I really like them. So I make them, uh, let me see, I'll take a glove off. As I said, these pieces are starting to warm up. But uh, what is really nice about these dimple mugs is that where you hold them, you can put a little finger under your under your glass and then, and then your fingers just rest really nicely in these dimples and it makes it a really comfortable uh, goblet to hold, cup. Uh, it, they're fun. And um, I made six of these Let me get my glove back on. So a little bit of repetition, but there they are. And that's um, that's Amico Sky Celadon glaze. And it, I dipped it for probably about three seconds. I uh, bought a pail uh, of dry powder, 10, in, ten um, a 10 pound, a pail of powder and I added my own liquid and mixed it all up because like I said, I dip most of what I make. So there's the fourth fourth one and there's two more down below. Okay, so. I made this again in um, Smoky Mountain Mist and it's a little creamer um, and a sugar bowl. And the inside is ultra white. And there you go, that's a good way to see the white. Ultra white and the outside is um, both glazes by Opulence, ultra white and Smoky Mountain Mist. So that's cute. It's about um, maybe about three inches tall and it's probably about two inches, two inches across there, but it'll make a great little creamer to go on the table along with uh, this that could hold sugar. And, uh, and they'll fit really and stack nicely inside one another. So I'm happy with that. That turned out really, really nicely. And um, I did one in, uh, in the um, black copper, again available at, um, at Playscapes Pottery. And there's the creamer with ultra white on the inside. And uh, those two will fit nicely in, into one another jiggling a bit. I still have to sand the bottom. This is another creamer um, that I did in Opulence Cherry Blossom. And uh, not a lot of people aren't a fan of pink, but I have it and I've got to use it. And so I'm just finding some little projects to do to use up the pink. But uh, these are, um, by the way, um, this uh, eggshell, um, do I have, yeah. The eggshell that I used on this, the smoky, the um, blue Monday I used on this, and this cherry blossom are what are what are called uh, reduction look glazes, and it does look like it's done um, in a probably a hotter kiln um, that uh, that fires to reduction, but of course an electric film uh, kiln uh, fires in oxidation, so it's called a reduction look, and uh, and it's really it's really pretty. And I can't show you the the um, iridescence of it, but it's it's really nice. Okay, this is um, cobalt. This one will sell as quickly as I put it out because uh, in Jamaica they love cobalt blue, and so ultra white on the inside. And this is coyote um, coyote cobalt really 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 rich dark blue gorgeous 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 and uh, i need to do more in that combination again these two pieces will just fit nicely inside one another saves room in the cupboard now i'm really i'm really happy with this bowl it might be hard for me to part with it 
Um, outside is Opulence Blue Monday and inside, oh my God, this is a peacock bowl and I've done it in a slightly different method. In the past, I used to dip my bowls into um, like a primer glaze and then I would add the flux and the stroke and coat and then um, I found that the flux would lift off it or peel away from the, uh, from the glaze liner. And this time I didn't do that. I just put the Mako flux straight on to the bisque fired piece. And then in the top row here, I did dots of um, limelight. And then, oh gosh, where are my notes? Oh, um, Blue Isle, okay. This is limelight. And then on the, and I did a row of, of, uh, of U's. And then I did a second row underneath. So where the U was down was where I'd start the other one. So kind of alternating. And then I put blue aisle dots in that second row. So you're getting two colors. And um, boy, and then I did a, a full dip in, um, in the uh, Opulence Blue Monday, just to write like uh, as if I was fire, as if I was dipping it um, for just a regular bowl. And I am so happy with how this turned out. It is just gorgeous. This bowl is about 10 inches wide and I will sell this easily for a hundred US dollars in my uh, in my fair tomorrow. It, ugh, I can't take my eyes off it. One of these days I'm gonna make one of these things and keep it for myself. Okay. I think I'm down to uh, down to my last row here or my last shelf. And I have I have the last two of these um, short goblets done in um, I keep saying it because people keep asking opulence, ultra white and amico sky. Uh, yeah, it is sky. And then I made some taller ones. So let me show you the difference. I made a tall set and bla glazed them in the ultra white on the inside and the coyote um, cobalt blue. And there's the difference in height. So this one is shorter and wider. This one is taller and thinner. I don't think those are gonna last too long. I think they're gonna sell really, really, really quickly. And uh, like I said, the little dimples the dimples that are that are in the piece, I, I put them at about um, maybe two inches ab above the base because it just it just fits nicely in in your hand when you have your little finger sitting underneath and your thumb just rests right in one of the dimples in your fingers. I'm telling you, they're fun to drink out of. And I have six of those. So again, in the cobalt blue, gorgeous just gorgeous. And these um, came out exactly the way I intended. So there, there's no surprise for me when I made them. This is exactly what I had in mind for them. When I made them, I was going to do always do them in white and cobalt. Now this is the last piece. This is another peacock bowl, and this was done in the same method as the other one. I did the um, I did the flux uh, straight onto the bisque. I did the little loops, and then a second row of loops. In the top row, I put again. I put the um, oh, you know what I did? I know. I put uh, oh gosh, jaded, and there's another one. Okay, the, uh, in fact. I use two colors of stroke and coat. I'm just reminding myself because when I look at this really clearly, and I don't know if you're gonna see it, there's a little bit of, of light green behind this dark green splotch. So my first go around, I, um, I did limelight and underneath the dark blue, there's two blues there as well, was blue aisle. And then when that dried, I did another much smaller dot of jaded and I can't remember the one, it's a darker blue. And I did it. So there's four to two greens, a light green and the, and the dark green and a light blue and the dark blue. And, uh, and so that's how come I'm getting such vibrant colors. 
And then I did a full dip in, um, in sea spray. And uh, again, it's beautiful on the outside. And it's just beautiful on the inside. So here is here is the uh, the two um, peacock bowls. I gotta be careful so that I don't drop them. They're really really nice. So that's it. That's all I have to show you today. And um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you wanted, to, if you have not subscribed to my channel already and you would like to. I invite you to do that, but if you choose not to, that's fine with me too. It doesn't matter. Um, I just enjoy making these videos for you and sharing the experience and, and the knowledge that I have, which is very little compared to some other people. Anyway, um, next week I'm going to uh, I'm going to be start throwing and get back into my uh, my production of pieces. So I will uh, make one or two videos of, uh, of how I throw my, my work. I don't do much hand building. 95% of what I do is, um, is uh, wheel thrown. So uh, I hope you uh, choose to return back to my channel and we can, uh, we can have some fun next week. Anyway, thank you all very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, wish me luck tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be a fun, fun day in Jamaica at this, at this um, at this marketplace. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a really, really great day. Bye-bye.